I remember speedrunning this on the first day to try and get the um the first the world's first goblin, which I failed miserably. Where is my hairstyle, bro? I failed it miserably. Some guy got it and he's way better than me. But it is what it is. Now I can play again. I'm just clicking this until I genuinely just can find the hairstyle I normally play the game with. I don't know why it's taking so long. Who added? This didn't pass a poll. No, it's not that one. What is this shit? No. Finally, okay, this is it. We are in. Okay, let me get through this tutorial as fast as possible because I don't need to read all this because I'm actually an ex front pager, rank 25. I was also rank one in the game after the first day and overall. So that is our accolades for this league. And now what we do is we win. Okay, trickster. Again, production, I don't really care about it. Trickster, it's just too good for how I play the game. I want it, bro. <laughs> Give me him. Okay, we're in. The Greaves are on. We have 10 points. Where are the world firsts? I want to go read them, bro. Let's see who's won. Mate, the first Jad was DV8. The second, first Zuck was DV8. This guy, Richard then. Okay, okay, okay. That's fair enough. You know, Barry Hall, cruise ship. All right, Magnum Copus. All right, these guys are all key. PP McGee, the king. This is the rules for playthrough number two, okay? First, I'm going to try not to die. I'm going to try and survive for as long as possible. Now, I will be a berserker player. So I'm probably going to die pretty early in, but that's okay. Second, I am going to keep the bank tidy. The bank will be tidy on this account. That is goal number two. If it does get bad, then I'll start again. Wait a second. This is a new game mode, bro. You know what, mate? I am going to pick these logs up, mate, and I am going to tricks to burn an inventory quickly. I need two worlds to play on, right? Give me 503 as well, and give me 498. These are my new worlds that I'm playing on. I'm going to get a bit of fire making. There we go. 10 points for the first level up. And I will take some more points, please, for some fire maker. First level five, first level 10. All right, time for Trickster to go to it. Right, 15 thieving is done. If I could please get off this guy, open the coin pouches for some extra money. Luckily, the game is dead because everyone right now is working on their dragon trophy. So I can buy everything i want and i'm gonna buy shears a knife a hammer and then i've already got a bucket man we could actually shear the sheep for day one bro i'm gonna run out of runes at this rate bro i have five casts left there we go that's a two right yes finally bro dead right i get points for that kill a goblin and it points for burying the bones as well mate we are zooming Right, okay, made a lot of tasks. Arrow shafts, crying a wheat field, milk a cow, make some flour. We have cooks, assistant, completed, and ready to go. Time to feed ham members with a full inventory. I'm going to go back. Bro, just chop the tree. <laughs> to be fair, mate, anyone, <laughs> anyone that tried to do this specific task on day one is getting PTSD right now of me chopping this tree. Because this thing was impossible to cut down on day one, bro. Because there was 5 billion people. <laughs> Mate, we got the potato. Pickpocket a hand member done, right? We're thieving this dude to some higher thieving levels. But I do need to get the sword. Wait, I don't need the sword. I'm not going candorin on this run, am I? So I don't need the sword. Nice. Okay, we can thieve something else at level 25. Grimy guams are done. Drop all that. Don't need any of that whatsoever. Unless... What the hell? I just teleported up clues. Mate. I'm doing the clues. I want to do them. I'm just going to see how many steps. Let's go. Okay. The witch has been insulted. The agility course is about to be completed. Trickster is popping again, mate. There's no there's no league I think I ever play ever again without Trickster, bro. It's just too good. Oh, it's just too good. Other than that, we'll do the drain a bit, and I'm going to generally try and complete this clue scroll. I only have one region. We might, I might try and do all six clue scrolls just for fun. Second playthrough, chat. We need to be careful. 10 barleys have been purchased. We don't have infinite money, so I don't want to go broke. Bro, if I get a forestry kit and hop to the forestry world, if I get like, I don't know if I can actually take place in forestry yet. I might be a little too low of a level. Uh, can I actually start? Yeah, okay, I need some woodcutting levels first. Right, okay, I need to fish some fish and not die to a dark wizard. If I die to a dark wizard, it's over, bro. This place is a graveyard. Please have mercy. Wait, if I run far, he'll on acro. Why is he so close? All right. Abandoned ship. New world. Uh-oh. Can you get me here? Oh, no. Don't hit four. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're all good. Mate, is he attacking every three game ticks? 
I swear that was fast. I don't know. Right, you Where are my anchovies? All right, you missed the fireplace. Right, we need to cook one and burn one. If I burn this one now, bro, why couldn't I have had that on day one? Day one, I burnt like six in a row and had to keep fishing. Okay, Doomsayer, let's progress. I need to do two steps of this clue. Oh, mate, we can do it. It's easy. Okay, nice. Right, let me do the uh, cook's assistant, chong these and try and cook five in a row. But we can do the easy clue already. Oh, it's going to be a good day. Whatever fashion scape I get from this clue, I'm going to wear it as well. Okay, I'm level 12 cooking. All I need to do is cook five in a row, and we're good. I can burn these, I think. So don't cook four, then burn, because then it has to, like, be perfect. Oh, first try. One and done, baby. Yes, easy. Wait, this is my third step. Oh, I don't have the moron relic. Oh, that's why. I thought it was a two-step clue, but I don't have the relic yet, do I? Right, okay, let me start the quest. Give me this, give me this uh, garlic, mate. Right, can I do this? Oh, easy. Right, no mistakes. This is the hard... Wait, there's no, there's no spiders! Quick! There's no spiders! Oh, uh, that one, please! Go, go, go! Yes! Uh-oh. No, I'm free, I'm free, I'm free, I'm free, I'm free, I'm free. Whew, this is the scariest floor of the stronghold. You have to do this in a very specific way. You have to tank the spider hit, then go through. Go. I can go instantly here. I'm good. Because otherwise, it will stack you through the doors, and you will die. Now... In my last playthrough, I lied. I actually mentioned that the only time my boots would ever be removed was to do this step here for one game tick. But unfortunately, that was a lie. I removed them more than that. Time for some money. Thieving to level... Said <laughs> level of messages so much easier. Come on, bro. See, someone's seeing me do this now in this video, bro. While I'm here as well, I'm going to set us to 100k. Oh, bro. Someone's seeing me do this and they don't know about that. And their whole league, they had level up messages every five seconds, I reckon. Here we go. Oh, the moment of truth. <clears throat> Our first level 40, which means we can pickpocket a guard. And if I pickpocket a guard, 40 points, we can now get the tier two relic and we are gonna pick up i'm gonna do it i'm gonna pick globe trot i've decided i'm gonna globe trot this one but fairy craft first right so in my opinion fairy's flight is trash for the wilderness region once i get my teleports in the desert it won't be that good either because i'll have scepter camulet and a player and house in there and then as for fremenic I don't really know, but I'll have a Ring of Wealth to Miscellaneous, which will be good, plus friendly boots in the future. The only thing I lose is the Fairy Ring to AJR, but if I build a Fairy Ring in my house, it only loses me a bit. And I only have one herb patch, and that's on Whis, which I have on my Globetrotter. So therefore, today on the second playthrough, I will be a Globetrotter, my friends. We're going to be trotting, guys. We're going to be trotting. Let's have a look at this thing. Right, I can't do anything yet because I don't have any regions. And I also have jewelry, which has access to... Hey, Glory Army's popping a bit. Grand exchange rate, cooking guild. Oh, we're booming, bro. Video game. I'm not a clue relic guy. So the max steps in an easy clue is four. Give me three and make the account the dream. Yes! All right, any fashion scape I get, I'm wearing it, bro. Why well, can't even wear that? Moron game. I'm a wait. Hold on. I actually did pick up the saw on day one. I am a day one saw picker, and I'm a day thirty four saw picker. Is this a five tick water strike caster, bro? Oh my! Going from two tick shadow to this. When I go back to the main game and my shadows are five tick, it's gonna feel so slow, bro. I only have four planks left and no money. No, I have to go all the way back. I ran out of cash already, bro. <laughs> oh man all right bro back to the even <gasps> no i need two more two more two more that's fine okay i should have you know it's fine man there we go purchase a player in house didn't even purchase it 10 coins and 24 construction mate you are on the ground right is this a task it is only 10 points bro i was feeling i was gonna get 40 for that one bro okay trot time here we go nexus lumbridge here we go do i just dig here Nice. Okay. Can we complete this? Back to Varrock. Nexus. Varrock. Oh, bro. I already... <laughs> it's great, bro. Oh, bro. Easy clues immediately, mate. Don't even need law runes. Two steps. I want... No. Gertrude. Let's go. Oh, here we go. Jewelry. Cooking guild. It might not be actually quicker from where I am, bro, but, mate, I'm going to be honest. This is booming. Be a free step. Be a free step. Yes. Nice. What? 
Wait, that's good, actually. I've got Fremenic. I'm going to be choosing Fremenic as a region, so I actually will need that. Nice. Wait, I'm not even going to lie. Early game Globetrotter for doing some clues just for fun is good. Right, I'm not a fire sailor anymore. 825 very much ne uh, needed coins. This to drain our village. I'm just going to do all these clues and see what we get. I might as well get some free points. All right, can I do this without ancients is the question. Mate. Oh, mate. Clue number three. Charge Dragonstone Jewelry. I didn't even get those on the first run. Um, I think that's a task as well. I don't know if these work without the hero's quest. Plus, I have access to the Fountain of Rune. That's a task, actually. Let's keep those for now. Um, but I'm pretty sure that it might be garbage. But other than that, next clue scroll coming right up. Nexus Marrow. Clue number four. That's just depressed. That's so bad, mate. Like, absolute garbage, mate. Hold on. Jewelry. This, see, this one right here. This one right here. If I was a glow, sorry, a fairy gang, this would be faster. E Casket number six. <gasps> Hey, that, yeah, bro, I'm not even gonna lie. That is, oh, 40 points as well. I'm going mage build, bro. I'm going mage again. That's like best in slot for ever. Wait, you know, again, we're just having fun, mate. We can low alk the helmet, except I can't low alk yet. That's fine. Law runes, which aren't needed because I'm a globetrotter. Oh, man. Wait, can we do this? Bronze dagger, yes. Iron full helm, yes. Gold ring. I can telegrab one. Let's see if we can find one. Right, is this a task? I color the logs and burn them. I want to say this is actually a task. It is. 10 easy points. And I don't need those anymore. The goal is get the gold ring. We need 13 magic for that. For now, though, let us return and make some money by thieving. Right, combat level 10. 15 magic. We kill a moss giant. We kill a greater demon. We kill a red dragon. We bury the dragon bones. We try not to get dead. Oh, there we go, right? We have enough tasks to unlock a new area. I'm thinking as a trickster, we now go to desert. We go desert first this time around, and we go and thieve the menophytes, the bandits, and all that stuff, and we get 91 thieving, do all the pyramid plunder tasks, and then see where we stand from there. One dead red dragon there, brother. Give me the bones, the hide, and the coins, bury the bones, and I'm rich. Right, I'm gonna unlock the desert first and just play it blind, I guess. Let's just do it. Confirm, done, give me. My clues have extra steps now, but no one cares. The thing is actually my globe trot is not very good in the desert. So I think what we should do is get hold of all of the desert transportation. And I just completed Rune Mysteries, Romeo and Juliet, The Lost Tribe, and Below Ice Mound. Also, I just realized I don't have candor in, so I've unlocked the waterfall quest and the other one, but I don't actually fail doing that. No regrets. What am I trying to do? I'm trying to teleport to Karanja. Hold on, I'm 40 agility. I could just do Brimhaven right now for all of the tasks there if I wanted to. It's kind of tempting, but I think I should maybe... Whoa, 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 whoa. Can I go in or do I need 17 hunter? No. How long will it be there for? Should I just do the museum now? Thinking. Get the herring. I might try and do it. Duradel. Whatever this assignment is, I... No, 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 no. I was going to say I'd just do it, but there's no point in me doing it till I actually get my tier four relic, I think. Right, what do I get? 36 handsome spiders. That is not too bad. 25 combat. All righty. I am going to fire strike the Zar Cap. This is going to take a while, but I'm going to do it because I'm not in a rush to do anything on this account. And we'll get some points. Whoa, I just hit a nine. With Fire Strike, I just hit a nine. Hold on a minute. Someone needs to explain why and how I just hit a nine with Fire Strike. I don't have the relic that boosts my damage. Oh, the garlic. Hey, plus one max here. Okay, wield the Addy Dagger. Wield the Mithril Dagger. And now we are going to trot to Varrock. And if I can get the gold ring, we can finish the uh, clue scroll because I have a lore ring. Right, is there even a gold ring down here, bro? I knew it, mate. There isn't even a gold ring here that I can telegrab. What do we do? Maybe I telegrab the bar and we make one because that'll be fun. Five. Oh, we're doing it. We're doing it. We're doing it. Hey, just realized we also have access to our low arc. So I'm going to low arc this black full helm, this steel full helm, and I'm going to remove all this trash in my bank because we're going to keep a tidy bank, but we'll tidy the bank later. Uh, in the meantime, we are going to low arc the Addy dagger, the mithril dagger, the full helm, and the full... No! I didn't wear the full helm before I arced it! It's a task! 
Ah! Okay. Here begins task one, Operation Gold Ring. First, telegrab the gold bar. Second, how do we get some crafting levels? Hmm. Maybe we... Oh, beer glass, let's do it. Wait, I have enough punch for a tier three relic. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Playthrough number two, we're going to be a banker's noter. And we are going to absolutely maximize the banker's note no matter where we go. And I have last recall as well, which I'm probably not going to use anytime soon. So let's just bank that. Right, banker's note, round two. Let's play. This right now will be the initiation to the banker's note relic. We're going to buy 10 sand and 10 soda rash for glass that'll get us level five because I'm not sharing sheep. I can't be bothered. But as I'm not a fire sailor this time around, it won't automatically note which means I get to note it myself. And this right now is the initiation to Banker's Note. <laughs> Best relic in the game. Alrighty, we are in the Alcarid area. And I'm just going to be honest, I didn't even need to note that, but I can also just unnote it quickly. Smelt this into glass. And then we make the gold ring and I complete the clue scroll. And Operation Clue Scroll is complete. Okay, excellent start. 18 crafting. Drop everything. Hold on a second. Oh, <laughs> the discovery. Right, next discovery. Okay, first of all, buy one sapphire. Can I even cut this? 20. Discovery over. Okay, here we go. Gold ring is made. Right, I can complete that clue scroll now. I'm going to do a lap of the Alcarid course because I think that's a task. And then we'll complete the clue. Okay. Dance in the shack in the Lumbridge Swamp. Fastest way there, we are going to trot to Lumbridge and just run it. Okay, in we go. Will this complete the clue scroll? It will not. Next step. Easy as pie, man. Right, step number four, clue number six. What are these clues? It's not the end of the world because I can at least low arc that plate body for a bit of money. But what we're going to do instead is use our brain. And we are going to sell this plate body to Horvick for the high arc price. And this is money we need because we're not a fire sale. Right, okay, sold that 6.8K, we're balling. Now, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go buy my steel full helm back because I didn't wear it before I did the task. Right, Pexa, how you doing? How much money is all this? Yes, treat myself, buy, 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 wield that, take that one back off, trade Pex to sell that one back, good. Right, 1.6K, two at the desert. Right, Ali Morrison, I need to unlock everything right now. So let's just speak to him, get the rune store. And then we'll scrape some money by pickpocketing in the desert. And then we can start working on the tier four. And when I get the tier four, I can do the magician. Right. Selection of runes. Wait, what? Oh, do I have to actually do this, this thing? Ah, fine. I'll do it quickly. Okay. This is not the stock I'm after. I'd like to see the non-elemental runes. Okay, good. Right, we have unlocked the rune store for the character. I have no money, though, so we're going to have to make some money. Bro, I'm not going to lie. I've chopped, like, 15 cacti now, bro. Give me water. It's empty. It's on zero. Why will it not fill up? Please, I've cut every cactus in the desert. Oh, my God. Oh, Jesus. I literally cut one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine... 10, 11, 12, 15, like 15 cacti for that. Yes, 600 coins. Willow Blackjack, thank you. Good, so I don't need to bother with that, which is nice. Okay, thieving level, 47. I don't need the Blackjack for now, but I need it for the Menified task, I think. Other than that, let's thieve some money. First level 60 on our first 80-point task coming in with thieving. Plan right now, 65 thieving. Then we can thieve Menifites for a bit. And do I bother getting 91? Probably not, but maybe tempting. I don't know if I want to feed for that long. 65 thieving. Let me out. Time to go bop some menifies. There we go. Pickpocket 50 times. Now, let me double check. I basically pickpocket every single time when he was knocked out, so that's okay. Let me check quickly, though. So first level 70. Coming in, mate. The account is starting to build humbly right now. Going to get 71 and then do some pyramid plunder. Wait, do I need to bop a crocodile? I think a crocodile does need to have a little bit of a beatdown right now. So, where are you, Mr. Crocky? Where are you, bro? There he is. I'm getting him. Right, a fair 1v1 with this crocodile. 
I have no food on me. Uh, 1v1 is now over. Sorry, bro. If I misclick the Varric Telly, I'm going to crank. Come on. Where's the safe spot, bro? I don't want to die to a crocodile. Please. All right. We got him, bro. He died. All right. We beat the crocodile. 40 points. I'm going to go buy some wine now before I die to desert heat, even though I'm wearing the full armor. And then I'm going to do Prima Plunder. All right. Give me that wine. All righty. Here we go. Early Pyramid Plunder. Do some quick tasks up all the way. Oh, mate, the Insta Guardian as well, mate. Send me in. And if I get a Scepter, by the way, on this, I will be very happy. 240 for that one, mate. I'm level 5 strength on sarcophaguses. <laughs> Let's keep it going. Mate, okay. 23 strength from Pyramid Plunder, bro. The elite strategies right now. Get me out of this hole. Give me that Pyramid. Thank you. Right, bro. Purchase my pyramid, please. I want my 10,000 gold because then we have a 100,000 cash stack. Yes! And it's a task. Oh, nice. It was a task. I thought it was a diary. That's good. Okay. Can I do anything? Nada. I can kill a vulture to the north. I know that. Been a pleasure there, Mr. Rayo YouTube. Thanks for dying. And thanks for the prayer experience. All righty. If I buy, let's get as many as possible. And then I use on the banker's note. And we have some Karambwans for our playthrough. All righty. We are a banker's noter. It is time to learn how to use it. First of all, banker's note. Second of all, glass blowing pipe. Third of all, note all. Seaweed and soda ash. Inventory spots, 24. Unnote quantity, 12. Use, use. Smelt glass. <laughs> All right, here we go. Boom, boom. Drop, drop. Boom, boom. Smelt. Next up, first of all, I am not a fire sailor, which means we do need to withdraw money from the bank. But with this money and a nice chisel, I'm going to go with my amulet of Globetrotter that I'm not even wearing right now. We are going to go to jewelry, PvP arena, and cut some gems. Right, so I'm not a productioner, but, oh, this crafting experience is absolutely popping. 540 a cut. Yeah, we'll make, I think the Ruby Amulet's level 50, so I might make the Ruby Amulet now and then uh, sell these back. I make profit, and then we can buy more runes, and the runes are to the east, so we'll do that. Right, okay, here we go. So trade, sell 50. I actually don't know if I made any money by selling 50, but there's only one in stock, so I'm not sure what happened. I made a bit of money, not bad. Right, trading flat, crafting to 50. Right, next up, we are going to trade. If I go to the bottom here and sell five and just spam click that, all gone. 100k cash again, and we are training crafting. All righty, here we go. View runes. Buy non-elemental runes. We have 100,000 gold to spend. I'm going to treat myself to some runes. I'll do now. What I want to do, we'll get some cosmic runes as well to enchant stuff, but I want to I wanna try and play a bit where money doesn't become like a, an object that isn't needed like instantly if I did revenants or something like that. So that will do for now. And I will probably just sell these back because I don't really think I'm ever going to do anything with them. Hey, cut a sapphire. Easy task. Right, what I'm going to do, I'll go through the gate. I'm going to get a hide. And then if I create a leather something, I think I get some points. Right, make a leather body as a task. That is not a leather body. That is a leather body. Bro, man, stupid dumb lenses. Now I've got to go back and get more money. Stupid lens. How many lenses did I make? 11 apparently there we go right nice easy 40 points use both drop both done okay next up no idea right i need to oh i have wait i have the anti-fire shield on don't i so i'm not actually gonna die here i was gonna ticky that just in case i needed to right this i literally did late on my other account and on this account i'm gonna do it early and i can also oh if i get a ruby as well we can make the amulet that'll be very very good but we can also note everything is that a mithril pickaxe Hold on, right, think. Is the Mithril Pickaxe good for me? I don't know if I can buy them easily. With my new regions, I actually think that's not too bad. Nice, rubies, we got them. Right, we can make ourselves a nice strength amulet. Right, we can buy the Mithril Pickaxe in Keldegrim. So at least we have this one for now. Other than that, two rubies. Mate, okay, organ driver, how you doing, bro? Let's see if this guy gets teleported out because he's not actually a trickster. Right, thinking. Adamant Scimitar, is it in any way, shape, or form my best in slot weapon? Because it honestly could be. I'm going to keep it for now. Nice pet. The Adamant Scimitar has been retired. Don't be fire on me. We're good. Right. Done. Okay. It took, and I quote, 
591. So we went just under triple the rate for that. But it's done. All righty, down we go. Here we go. We're going to play Outfit Roulette. This guy is Desert, Kandarin, and... Hmm. I don't know if that's a fortified ward. If it's fortified, then that's actually a uh, wilderness. But other than that, Desert and Kandarin is all I can work out. What the hell? Yeah, you went very dry, bro. Okay, task coming up. 40 points. Something good from the chest. I don't know if that's good, but it might be good for something later on or something. I don't really know. How many shadows did this guy get? Come on, bro. You better have dropped some shadows. One shadow, I guess. <laughs> Zero. <laughs> might as well restart, bro. Right, next up, we have many, and by many, I mean almost zero law runes. So, I need to make a strength amulet, an emerald ring, and I'm going to check what else I actually need to make. And that should give us the points, I hope, maybe, to get ourselves to tier four and unlock our relic. Alrighty, here we go. Operation Telekinetic Grab the Gold Bar on two different worlds with our very minimal law runes. Thank you very much, game. And now we change worlds. And we get another one. Here we go. Right. Ruby amulet. Emerald ring. Done. Now I need to go and spin some wool on this. And I don't have any wool. But as soon as I do that, we get the tier four. Yes, I'm a random ball of wool. Nice. There we go. Tier four relic. I need some sound effects on. Come on, bro. Right. Relics. We are going mage again. Because mage is good. Make sure I'm not choosing the wrong one. Superior sorcerer. Done and dusted. Yeah. Right, we've got the rune pouch now. Put my runes back. Let's play. Right, so now we get to play as a major. I'm going to do the exact same thing I did last time here. I'm going to go straight to the tree spirits and get my axes out of the way while they're low combat. I also have three medium clues I'm going to do directly after that. Um, this time around, though, we get to play the game as a major, but without the infinite money. I have to make money for runes. Uh, with 90% retention, it should be completely fine to do that. But that means money has a value to me on this playthrough. And that's going to make it a lot more fun, I think. Lawrence, how much are they? 50, 100. Why am I buying Lawrence when I have Globetrotter? I generally actually have no idea, but that's fine. Here we are, the good old tree spirits. Right, starting with Fireball, and then as soon as we hit level 39, I will switch to Wind Blast. We retain our runes, and I am here for an Adamant and a Rune Axe. Adamant Axe, tick. Rune Axe, coming right up. I just misclicked my teleport. I did not misclick my teleport. That was entirely calculated. 50 mage. Okay, here we go. All right, nice. Little power spike already coming up. Chance, chance. Come on, Tree Spirit. You can do it. Come on, bro. Just hit the damage. Right, we can now go on to the Ancients. Can I cast anything? Smoke Rush. <laughs> oh, I can't auto cast though with a fire staff. I need an Ancient Staff. I don't have the money. Good. This is what I want. I want to be struggling for cash. Do I thief for it? Tempting? Tempting? Yeah, we'll work it out. It's okay. Done. Nice. Runax out the way. Miffle done. Addy done. Nice. We are done. Okay. Next up. Operation Ancient Staff. We need to earn 80,000 gold. And I also need to get 50 attack. I think I need 500 total level to actually do Soul Wars, don't I? Damn. Right. First things first, I'm going to collect the Ring of the Shadows. Then I will get... Wait, where is it? South. Then I'll... If the Ancient Staff is free, then that's done. But then I need 27 total levels. We do Soul Wars to 50 attack. Then I can wield it. All right. Wait, 75,000 coins. He just gave me one for free. Can I just alk this and then get another for free? I'm not going to risk it, bro. I already know things will go wrong. Oh, I need to charge it. Um... How do I charge this thing? Let me try. Is it just runes? Soul, death, blood, and law. I can do it. I already forgot what runes I need. Is it those? Yes. 10 charges. Nice. Okay. Ancient staff. I have 30k. Let's get it. All righty, my brother. Relocate me to Polyvnich, please. 7.5k. 40 points for free. I'm going to go in in case this is a task. It is a task, man. Whoa. First level 80. That is a nice 80 points right there.
Thank you. We're going to get level 81, which I hope gets me enough money to go to the uh, 80k. If I get literally 80k on the dot at level 81, I'm going to go buy the staff and then be broke and just try and work out how to make some money for fun. Bada boom. This is beautiful. I'm really happy with this. Right. 81 thieving. 90,000 gold. I'm going to run all the way over here. I'm going to get my camulet, buy my ancient staff. I don't know if there's any tasks, but I'll check quickly uh, that I can currently do. And then I'm going to run the level eight of Pyramid Plunder and we'll take those points. That's a good point, actually. I should actually thieve... Oh, no. I was going to say I should thieve those until I get lockpicks because now when my stats are high enough, which they might already be close to, I can kill Salah in the Twisted for an easy task. Right, Ebless, bro. How you doing? Talk, speak, fast. Do I have to pay 80,000 gold or will he give me the free one from the quest? No, you do have to pay. And I need 50 attack for that. And I will get that at Soul Wars. All righty, my bro. I need 500 total. I don't think I get it from this, but it should be close. Oh. Never mind. That absolutely zoomed. Okay. Soul Wars. Let's go get my head bopped. I need 40 combat. <laughs> How can I get 40 combat quick? I need to kill things. I'm going to bop some spiders. And we're going to train some Slayer. And I'm going to get myself 40 combat. Then we do some of that mini game that's called uh, Soul Wars. And then I... What are you? Right, combat level 40 achieved. That was very quick, actually. I am going to complete my Slayer task, and then we'll go to the Soul Wars. There we go. The Slayer task is done, and now I'm level 44, actually, which is pretty good. And I can't actually get back to Soul Wars, can I? Do I have to run there? Ah, fine, fine. Bro, right, we're here. One game, hopefully she gets 50 attack. I am carrying for the red team right now. Capping our own graveyard. Please be merciful. All right, here we go. Okay, so not the end of the world. We didn't get the max points because I died and whatnot. 168 zeal. And I got 40 points. Right, is 168 zeal enough to get me 50 attack? I very much hope so. Let's do this slowly because it scales quite nicely. So let's just do ones till 41. I'm pretty sure we'll get it. Easy. 72 zeal left over as well, mate. Should I treat myself to a spoils of war? I'm going to buy one for fun. If this is pure essence, we're runecrafting. Hey, not even bad. Heavy artillery obtained. We are now an ancient staffer. All righty, bro. Go on, man. I'll get another one just for fun. Go. Where's the pure essence? Alrighty, nice little task here for 80 points, or is this 200? 80 points, room 7 done. Alright, Vanika, give me something handsome today, my friend, and I get some points. 40 hill giants. That's actually perfect. Okay, uh, we'll grab the brass key, go through, and kill 40 hill giants. Whoa, giant key, okay. If I can kill Obor, I'll be very happy, and I'm pretty sure I probably just can kill Obor. Although he does hit pretty hard without prey range, but I should be alright. Whoa, bronze trophy. Okay. <laughs> Will the all get the dragon trophy is the question. Right. 40 dead hill giants. It is time to take on Obor. Three times, I believe. And I believe in victory. First things first, combat achievements for Obor. How difficult are these and can I do them all now? Boss, not boss, Obor. Right. Easy, fairly simple, that auto does later, possibly fine, I don't have prayer, so I can do everything about that, should be a few, I should get the immobilized one there, I think. Oh, I get another key, okay, so I can do all of them though right now, except for the, um, oh, this is good loot actually, hey, I forgot I'm not a fire sailor anymore, I need to pick this up. A sleeping giant, nice, got it, and we get some more runes as well, bro. Right, a rune piece would be great because I can high alk it for cash. Indeed. 12,000 coins. Not bad. Come on, rune piece. Show me some rune. Yes, rune kite shield. Nice. That, I'm alking it. I don't even care. Cash stat's going to double on this one. Watch this right now, bro. Boom, cash stat 45k. 40 points. Final kill. Some coins, 13,000, 10 combat achievements done. Note the bone, get rid of that. Right, okay, let's go do the beginner scrolls. And we'll also do the mediums ones that I've got in the bank right now. Oh, while I'm here, let's kill the lesser demon actually. Um, because there shouldn't hopefully be a queue. The last task I completed on the first run, 
will be the 129th task on the second. All right, show me it. I'm not a fire sailor. Show me the rune med helm. Ah, you know, I'll take those fire anyway. I need some. Ooh, can I do it? Air staff, bronze full helm, amulet of power. Uh, yes, I can, but it will require some preparation. And by preparation, it's time to craft. I want to try and get the bird, hunt, bird runs running ASAP because that would be just good for the account overall. What room do I need? Is it a workshop? I need a workshop level 15. Do that. 10 points from nowhere. Thank you, game. And I need, I think, only 25 construction. If so, very simple. Got all that in the bank. Okay. Craft. Clockwork mechanism. A steel bar. Welcome to the next operation, my friends. Kill a steel dragon in Karamja. Five steel bars. Guaranteed drop. Level 54. Let's do it. Okay, here's the plan. First of all, Operation Woodcut. We need 34 woodcutting. Five minutes max. Second, oper hey. Second is Operation Buy Some Karamwas. And then we kill. 34 woodcutting done. Note to the bones. Areas. Karamja. 97 Karam 1 should be enough. If we do not get more than that, then I'm going to cry as the dragon claims my life. Wait a minute. I want to say killing a fire giant's like a combat task or something, which normally I would just do during the waterfall quest, but I can't do that because I'm in Kandarin this time around. So let me execute a fire giant quickly. Steel dragon, the best of luck, my friend. Winner takes all. A nice little 40 point task there. And I also get my five steel bars. Which I think I can just go make into clockwork right now. Craft. Okay. Clockwork mechanism. Yeah. All right. Let's get the bird houses going. Bird houses. Willow. 34 wood cutting. That is fine. We will now globe trot all the way to Draenor. Okay. So willow trees with 34 wood cuts going to be fairly slow. But we'll just chop like a few. This is booming speed. There we go. Oh, I got 40 points for that. And I boosted more wood cutting. Which means now I can use the rune axe. Whoa, bro. I'm just printing these tasks. Like, this is the best thing about restarting. I just do random stuff and get random things completed. Dart wizard down. Is that just a task? Oh, it, it's it's a good day. Obtain a bird nest. Obtain a clue scroll. 45 wood cutting, mate. I'm not going to lie, bro. I'm absolutely booming. Another 40 points for the flowering event. Chop 100 willow logs. That was way, way, way faster than I thought. So now we buy some barley and then we set up our first bird houses. I'm also two tasks away from the wilderness. So setting up my whole fossil island region will get me the wilderness unlocked. And then we slay. Wait, is it a task? It's a hard task for 80 points. Okay, we are one task away until the next area. Is entering fossil island a task? But we will get it anyway by doing all the fossil island stuff. And there we go. Travel to Fossil Island. First of all, before we do anything, we are going to pet the dog. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, we are unlocking the wilderness as our second region. That is new territory completely from the first gameplay. It is done. And we will be going there shortly.